of the best. One of the best that's involved. But it is, of course, time for... Yeah, people working together, Utah. It's a land that we love. It is, of course, time for Utah County's Quiz, everybody. Utah County's Quiz. Utah County's Quiz. It is the game we do every week. Uh, we do this every week where Ryan and Clay go head to head. One guy hasn't lived in Utah for 10 years. Ryan, <laughs> is it been 10 years? 10 years, yeah. Uh, one guy hasn't lived here in uh, for 10 years. The other guy should know a lot more about Utah because he's lived here for a long time, loves Utah, mm -hmm. loves trivia, and yet uh, it's kind of close. It's not that much of a runaway. Ryan he has a chance. just drank a bottle of gin, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if, you, if you call doubling up someone's score and then more than doubling up someone's score, if you, if you count my son. Oof, oh, that's um, true. Which doesn't count for yeah, you, Yeah, the Scriveners Clay. are pretty far ahead. But no, but I mean, Ryan has done an admirable job, and it's anyone's game. Absolutely. There's a lot of counties to go. So what we have here is <laughs> we've gone through, we're going through all 29 of the Utah counties doing it. And a I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to uh, uh, step back on one of them, so. We had to pull an audible on that one this week because that's what came up with the random number generator. Oh, no. So we had to do oh, it boy. twice. But I've got an idea for that. I've got an idea for how we're okay. going to handle that. Uh, but right. you will see the red. That was when Charlie... Got the only two right answers out of <laughs> these two guys playing the entire seven year old game. at the time, one. just killing it. The purple is Clay, and then Ryan Bradford, a commanding lead on Super North Utah. We don't know what's going on there, but he is just killing no, it. My north. Uh, he no, loves his north. north. Well, he loves the north. Uh, this week, though, everyone wants to know. We will do uh, five questions, then maybe a bonus. We don't know. Uh, you get a full point if you get the question right, or the other person can steal it for point five. Clay won last week. The question on everyone's head, after I came up with that county, I had to come up with another one through the random number generator, and I came up with this one. This week's county is, of course, Beaver County, everybody. Beaver yeah. County is the county <laughs> nice. for this week. Uh, let's not get into that, gentlemen. We we talk is one is the first question uh, the county seat because I'll go first. We are of course I've tried to make it a little it's bit the more. The first question a primus a primus con question it's known all, as Big Brown he, Beaver he, County. <laughs> Ah, oh, God damn it, you guys! Yes, of <laughs> course, of course. The first question is about Winona's Big Brown Beaver, and of, of course, you the know other there question... were there were like three primus songs that I could could have used for the transportation theme tonight <laughs> and i didn't why out of respect should, to clayton if you wanted just every break we had a primus song i would have been okay with it uh <laughs> of course we should go through of course the new thing we're doing is uh the fifth question so we do two for each and then the fifth question goes to the winner of the toss-up and the person who gets to choose the toss-up is the winner of last week so clay look to your screen right now that's not what we want. That's uh, coming up in a second, but I didn't reveal the answer, so don't worry about it. Uh, the question yeah, of the, um, thank you <laughs> is the quiz uh, from one judge to a quiz master. It's going super well. Uh, the what we do is we do a random heads up. Yeah. Clay, you got to go first. It shows heads right now. It's a 50 50 chance. Mm -hmm. What do you want when I click on this? I'll go with tails. Tails it is. I'm clicking. Oh, second week in a row, Clay. You chose the coin flip correctly, so that means you get first choice for question number five. But Feeling before we already. get before we get to question number five, this we whole have, thing is random, so you know that's let's very start true. With good random moves the first time. The first question, of course, goes to the person who won last week, and the person who won last week was Clayton. So, Clay, little geography for you. Look to your screen right now. You can see a picture of what are those, Clay? Do you even know this is not the question? Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if you're ready for this. Those are mountains. That's correct, Clay. You're looking good so far. Those, of course, are the Tushers. Those are the Tushers. That's Those right. Are the tushers. Those are the Tusher Mountains. They lay on the eastern boundary of Beaver County. My question for you, Clay, at 12,174, even though the sign that you'll see in a second is actually a little bit smaller, but that's because... You mean 11,000? 12,000. 12,000. 12,000. Okay. 174 feet. Mm -hmm. This is the highest point in the Tusher Mountains. It is also the highest point in Beaver County. Mm -hmm. Clay, my question to you, one point if you get it right, or Ryan can still perform point five. What is the name of that peak? What is the name of that peak? Uh -huh. And I give you four answers, and you get a pick wow. here. Wow, multiple choice. You get A, Mount Belknap. These are all real. These are all real in the Tushers. Mount Belknap. 
Mount mm-hmm. Mounty Bald. I meant to put Mount Baldy, but Mount I was thinking, Baldy. I was thinking of Baldy, so I went Mounty Baldy, Mounty Baldy, uh, Mount Baldy. See Delano Peak or Edna Peak. These are all listed as the top highest, but which one is the highest out of the Tusher? The That's, Tusher. Yeah, it's so interesting. I spent a lot of time in the Tushers skiing at what was Elk Meadows at the time when I was a kid. Growing up in Vegas, it was the cheaper alternative to Brian Head. Um, but, you know, I wasn't hardcore, so I never made it to the top of Mounty Baldy. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Edna. Final answer. Yeah, I don't know if I'm right. I don't think I'm right. Look to your screen right now, my friend. The correct answer, of course, was... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Yeah, bomber, don't do that. Bomber, correct. bomber, <laughs> bomber. You are wrong. You are wrong. Ryan uh, could steal for point five. Ryan could steal for point five. Edna Peak is off the table, Ryan. These are all listed as the, these are the four highest in the Chishers, but which one is the highest? I'm not I'm not gonna go for Mounty Baldy either. Uh <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go for Mount Belknap. Mount Belknap? Belknap? It's a, it's Belk, Belknap. Belknap? Ryan, look Is it your, pronounced Belknap? I don't know what it's pronounced. Anyone who knows, please let me know. I don't know what I'm I think doing. it might be the right answer, though. Look to your screens, gentlemen. Look for the correct answer. Are you ready? Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Nobody gets a point. Nobody gets a point. The correct Where's answer. Where's Charlie when you need him? I know. Charlie would have gotten that right. If you look to your screens right now, you will see this. That, notice how they came up with a different they they were like actually that's a that's how high it was uh they they came up with the correct answer later on but the correct answer was of course delano peak and these are the fine people who have gone to the top of delano peak they've enjoyed it mm. uh it looks like there's a cool sign out there i'd love to go there one of my favorites that I think, other peak looks higher i think mount, it has snow I think, on it i think mounty baldy is one of the other ones hence the no trees where is there. yeah where's mounty baldy i don't know where mounty baldy is did you just know. make up edna no, those are all. These are all real names for peaks in the Tushers. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I think Edna is the one with all the snow on it. That's why I thought it was right. Oh, why wow. is Delano Peak the highest, but yet it's got no snow? We played a Delano. Are- we played a Delano video earlier. Ryan, my next question for you. Look to your screen right now, Ryan. My next question for you is this. Oh yeah. Look at, of course, you know, you might have heard of this guy. A little bit of kind of a big deal, yeah. right? Mm, a little yes. bit of a di- big deal. Philo T. Farnsworth was born in Beaver, Utah in 1906. He's, of course, the uh, leader. He was like the lead inventor of the most important parts that became the television. Lots of different people came up the with that. The cathode how, ray. Right, well, it was the, what is it called? I had it here somewhere. Some tube or some shit. I don't know. Uh, that would be... So he made up the most important part, I believe, was a tube of some sort. There's lots of photos with him with tubes. Uh, but he... There he is tubes? right there, beautiful man. What is this? Some uh, sort of tube? What is this? A tube? Uh, it's a series of tubes. Uh, he, um, he, of course, uh, with the leading... He made his fortune what, in bongs, actually. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes. hell, hell yeah. Well, that's giving too much <laughs> right. Talking San Diego. Uh, my question for Hello, P. Pullin' Tubes Farnsworth. <laughs> My question for you, Ryan. <laughs> my, my question for you. We're doing great, everybody. He himself actually had only one notable television appearance in his life, Ryan. In 1957, he appeared on the CBS quiz show, I've Got a Secret, where the contestants had to guess who the mystery guest was. Oh, okay. My question for you, Ryan, is what did they call Philo T. Farnsworth on this show? They gave him a, 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 you know, a, a mystery name. My question for you was, what was this name? I give you four options. Here are your four options. Was it A, Inventor Q? Was it B, (laughs) Professor T? Was it C, Dr. X? Or D, Teletube E? Teletube E. Do you see what I... Teletube... Teletube E. Teletube E. All right, everybody. Teletube E. Uh, Ryan, you've got... Those four options, you can get a full point. Ooh. No one has gotten a point yet, or Clayton can steal for point five if you do not get it correct. Wow. What do you think it is? Okay. Um, I'm just going to go out on a limb. Like, uh, mine my X-Men expertise. Go with the Professor X vibe and say Dr. X. Even though Dr. X is misspelled. 
Well, we can't all do it right, gentlemen. We're all trying to do photoshops. And... Is this the poly est blend quiz? Show? Listen, I got a lot going on. You see how many <laughs> graphics I have to come up with the show. Uh, sometimes I can't get them all right. Uh, okay. Right. Pass. Okay, but I'm not going to say anything. Ryan, final answer. Which one? Dr. X. You're going. I thought you said, Professor, you want to go Dr. X. Doctor X. Okay, is that your final oh, answer? Yeah, sorry, I, w- I was I was messing up my I was mixing up my yeah Doctor X. Final answer. Final answer. Bingo! Bingo! Ryan Bradford, look to your screen. This actually doesn't give you anything, but I found it. Uh, if that means anything, uh, you can see on your screen right now it was in fact Doctor X, but I do have. A little bit of the clip from it. So if you want, just uh, play it. There he is. There's Final Two Uh Oh, wait a minute. There, there is even more. I love how it's sponsored by Winston Cigarettes. Really Clay, <laughs> no one got it right. And his win? $80 and a carton of Winston cigarettes. That's what Philo T. Farnsworth got because no one correctly guessed. That's a guessed. fucking prize. That's a hell of a prize. You know that's a prize I love more than anything. Uh, very proud of you, Ryan. You correct, correctly guessed. That means you're ahead because Clayton Like her expression it. that's very like, I don't that's care like who Ryan, this guy is. Ryan might win. My agent just got me on this show. Ooh. <laughs> I love Professor X. <laughs> and by the way, I didn't even spell Of course I spelled it wrong. Um, and by the way, Professor T, Dr. X, I tried throwing you off a little bit. Uh, Teletub E, I thought that was pretty clever after seeing that it was Dr. X. Come on here, let's think of the jokes. Uh, all right, my next question is for Clay. You can get a full point to tie Ryan. Or Ryan, if uh, Clayton does not get it right, you can get point five, kept moving your lead even more. Clayton, look at your screen right now. What do you see here, Clay? What do you see here? Um, do that you looks see like the Severe River? That is right. You see the Severe River. The Severe River. My question for you. Of course, Beaver County is named after the Beaver River, which is probably named after beavers, but it is actually named after the river, which is one of only two tributaries, main tributaries, rivers, to the Severe River, Clay. There are only Mm -hmm. two rivers that are tributaries to the Severe River. My question for you, Clay, is what is the name of that second tributary, to the severe river i, give I love you, this question great question i give you and this is I, I, quiz master does it for you guys i try to design it for you guys uh my question for you clay you've got four what is the other tributary to the severe river look to your screen right now you can see those four options is it a the cub river b the sand pitch river c the dolores river or d the kusharam river well kusharam is misspelled um no it's not <laughs> you don't know that. How dare you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, it's definitely not C. So shoot, I messed up the steel there. Um, I'm oh, gonna go with. Uh, him out. I'm gonna go with San Pitch. Final answer. Yes. Gentlemen, look to your screen right now. Sand Pitch River is right! Oh. And now, just a little bit of... just a, uh, Kusharam is not spelled wrong, by the way. That river does not exist, but it is nearby. The Dolores mm-hmm. Clay, where is the Dolores? Eastern Utah. That is correct. It, is, it goes into, I believe, the San Juan River. And the Cub River is no, real. It flows into the, the green, but yeah. Sure. Sorry. And the Cub River goes into Bear River. Goes into Bear River. Oh, the Cub River. Cub bigger, River. You see what's sense, going yeah. on there. Clay, okay, you okay. kept your you keep your spirits alive. You have gotten one point, but Ryan is ahead because he can get we'll see what happens here. Ryan, it's in it's tied I'm, one, I'm one. ahead? No, you it's tied one one. It's tied one one. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's on the screen. Right I was here. confused too. Sorry, right? Don't worry about it. It's Funda- fundamentally, he has the advantage because he can take the lead. Here. I'm the professor. Um, I know how to spell. Uh, Ryan, my question for you. <laughs> we are going to a video option. We are going to a video option for this next one. Ooh, uh, okay. I like to find videos uh, that because you might not have the most serious knowledge of things. I'm just going to play little bits of this, little bits of this, and not play the whole thing. But I want to show you this movie by Spaztastic, host of Spaztastic TV. It is called 
half-assed hotel review, Oak Tree in Milford, Milford, Utah, which is in Beaver County. Half-assed hotel review, Oak Tree in Milford. But what's amazing is watch this right off the bat. See how he screws it up. He is like us. Watch this. Hello, I'm Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. I might as well do a hotel review of the travel lodge here in Milford, Utah. Might as well. Might as well do the travel lodge, even though he's at the Oak Tree already eight seconds in he has to do a correction to be fair what i have he call to do... him so spaz what he calls himself spaztastic spaztastic okay. i like how he's mine as well from like, here got nothing Shade else going on first well obviously since i'm a dumbass i couldn't be fucked to you know actually record while pulling in uh... <laughs> <laughs> could you just hear what he said listen Rewind to that. the tape listen to that one more time everybody they were it's at first well, obviously, since I'm a dumbass, I couldn't be fucked to, you know, actually record while pulling in. Uh... <laughs> obviously, because I'm a fucking dumbass, I couldn't remember to fucking record as I pulled in. <laughs> you gotta go check in at the Penny's Diner right there, just right through the front door. And it's right literally on the edge of town on the Highway 21 or just right at the edge of West Center Street. By the way, 188 views. More than uh, more than uh, Polyester Blood. More than the average Polyester Blood. Well, you have to go to your room. Um, hilarity ensues. Yeah. Hilarity and Hilarity and Oh. Holy shit. Why do I jump fast? I did it like 20 times the last time I opened the door. On the room key. Multiple room key slides. I mean, and what this sounds wow, like. Yeah. Pretty what, what's Milford doing these days? It seems a little dangerous. Yeah. So you walk in. <laughs> flat screen TV. You're naturally poorly lit freaking uh, <laughs> hotel room. <laughs> fluorescent lights right there. Wow. Now, I'm going to show you something hilarious. Because, this is, it gets uh, really funny. You go know, in your bathroom, which, oh, that's just, just a bathroom. However, turn the light on and you'll see something that looks like it's from the 1950s. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that is a that is a kick. That is a kicking circuit on a freaking fluorescent light. And the one that's over here does it too. But anyhow, other than the buzzing from that, um, Dude, you're in Milford, you a, man. What the hell? Micro fridge microwave. Yeah. Not to mention a grubby, grubby coffee pot. Dude. Which I think. I, what, I hate spasmatic. I hate spasmatic. Dude. I, think I hate this guy. Really this guy should kind of like <laughs> Jeremy Micro likes microwaves it. and fridges for hotels because the fridges just like it. And if you listen, it sounds like Darth Vader. No, it doesn't. <laughs> So anyway, he goes through and he, he goes. Oh my god! Goes, this guy's high maintenance. He goes through a lot of things. How long is this video? It's Jesus. five like minutes long. One forty-four p. But still. he goes through the but, TV. My oh, he he like critiques the flat screen TV he, in he, the middle he, of Milford, He critiques Utah. everything. My question for you, Ryan, is what does he? What does he? <laughs> let, let me show you this. It's massively printed. Freaking uh, painting, probably <laughs> printed in China, in a wood frame. Although yeah. I've noticed one thing. He notices one thing, Ryan. He notices. No, he's noticed a few things. <laughs> what is he about to say? He knows. Oh no! 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 You are seriously. You got to do predictive, oh predictive trivia on what, spasmatic. What? No, I love it. What, I love it. What is spasmatic about to say? He is not a fan of the 356 mark of the video. What does he note? The hotel room does not have Ryan. What does the hotel room? not have okay this is the question for you for one full point if you don't get it right clayton seal i give you four options i just bow down to you schlegel for finding this okay <laughs> does he know that the hotel room does not have a a bible b an ice bucket c friend free pen and paper or d free wi-fi <laughs> i'm gonna say c free pen and paper final answer based on that shot yeah Bummer. 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 You just let Clay back into the game. Clayton. Oh, my God. What is it? It's not free pen and paper. Is it A, a Bible, B, an ice bucket, or D, free Wi-Fi? Okay, so here's my mind here. Here's how my mind is operating here. I think a Bible is off the table. Every Everybody's got a Bible. Um, free Wi-Fi. <sighs> Pretty sure they got free Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go with Ice Bucket. He seems like a guy who would like micromanage that kind of angst there. So I'm gonna go with Ice Bucket. Final answer. Yeah. People, watch your screen. Listen closely. Listen closely. There isn't a Bible in this room. There is what? no Bible. Open the drawer. There is no Bible, <laughs> according to Spider. How does he Spatic. fucking know that? Yeah. Open the drawer. There's, there's definitely no a Bible in that Bible. room. There, 
There's a, probably a Bible and a Book of Mormon in there. A- according to our good friend Spasmatic, 188 views more than Polyester Blend. There is no Bible <laughs> in that room. Sad- There's never a Bible in the room. Oh. There's a Bible in the drawer. That is so... <laughs> we... <laughs> like, well, I- we, I just I don't like you giving a platform to someone who does not do their research. This freaking light over here with a flicker box and it's like it has a weird thing and all that. And this <laughs> one's like flicking into a truck stop this gr- and this like grubby, showers this, aren't clean. This grubby ass coffee pot and it sucks and I hate it and it just sucks. It's like <laughs> he's gonna go to bed by himself in this room. That that's what's happening. Yeah, no, I, and he's gonna be and he's gonna think that he's right. <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna be like I way, did good today. Really quick. Well, a- here's what Clayton has to do now, though. Clayton has to go to that hotel, oh, find a Bible, and then leave a strongly worded comment on the YouTube video. You will get 200 million points if you do that, Clay. 200 million points. It would be did impossible. I ever tell you? Did I ever tell you about um, the weekend I spent in Beaver County? Please tell me it right now. Uh, well, we, you know, I worked for a the second place weekly in. Uh, Utah in Isn't the that 90s. what Jeremy worked on too? No, that was Munger and I. Oh. They had this, you know, they're still doing it, the best of Utah, and we couldn't compete with them for their best of Utah revenue. So we did the best of Beaver. We spent three days in Beaver County traveling around and staying at all the best hotels. And let me tell you, there was an I there was a Bible, a belt ice bucket, pen and paper, and free Wi-Fi at all of them. Actually, there wasn't free Wi-Fi. I think that was before free Wi-Fi. But I'm just saying, like, you know, you, you roll into Beaver, you know, you're look. the fact of the matter is looking for the flaws in a hotel room in Beaver is like, that's such a weird play. Yeah. It's a weird flex, man. 188 views doing something better than we are doing. Uh, he's just been, <laughs> listen, a lot of people have a lot Those of- Those people are looking for travel tips in so- central Utah, I think. This they, is they amazing. This is amazing, gentlemen. Our fifth question is for one point. And we're tied at one to one still. One to one. Clay stumped the team. Clayton gets to go first because he won the coin flip. He gets to go first. All right. In this toss up, Clayton, you get to go first. My question for you: Robert Leroy Parker was mm-hmm. born in Boyne. <laughs> Boyne. Yeah. Born Boyne. in Beaver, Utah Territory. This isn't the question, but. A point zero 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 four. If you get this, who uh-huh. is Robert Leroy Parker? But this is not the real question. Just wondering. It's Butch Cassidy. Point zero 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 one four to Clayton. That is correct. The person known. God, finally a legitimate trivia question. Thank Butch you so much, Cras- Butch Cassidy. I I'm gonna have to file a, an appeal. For that's that. all right. That's all right. We'll see where this goes. The, Why don't uh, you, uh, you and Spasmatic get together? I think he's an attorney. This, file a class. Yes. Yes. this is, of course, Butch Cassidy. He was born not anywhere in particular. He was born in, U- it just says Beaver, Utah Territory. Utah Territory. It is what Beaver County was at the time. My question for you, Clay, you got to go first for one full point. If you don't get it right, Ryan can steal mm-hmm. for 0. .5. Butch Cassidy was born in the town of Circleville. Even though when Butch was born in 1866, that was in Beaver County, that town is now in this county adjacent to Beaver County. Okay, it was Beaver County. Now it's another one. I give you four options. Your options are the following, Clay. Is it A, Sevier County, B, Paiute, C, C. Garfield, or D, Iron? It's C. Town of Circleville. Garfield. Bummer, bummer, bummer. What are you flipping kidding me? Really? I didn't get it right? Bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh man, those county lines. Oh man. I thought the same thing. I thought I think I thought the same thing, but the town of Circleville, and I watched the ceremony of the 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 it's on Facebook of them um, uh, uh, opening the Butch Cassidy home, and they say this county's there because Circleville's in this county. It All is right. very close. It is I know the very close. Ryan, Garfield's off. Is it A, Severe, B, Paiute, or D, Iron County? Is this for the win? This is this is for point five. Okay. Is it Paiute County? Is that your final answer, my good friend? Final answer. 
you gentlemen want to look to your screens right now, we can see where's Circleville. We can see Circleville on the screen. There's Circleville. Which county is it in? It's, of course, in Paiute County. Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go. Unflippin' believable. It is so close, Clay. You were very, It is very close. Yeah, it's like a couple miles. It's okay. 4.5. For I'll point for point five, okay. So right now it's one point zero zero zero. This is so exciting. Jeremy's almost falling asleep. For one point zero 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 four is Clay, and point one five is Ryan Bradford. We have one final question. It is a toss up. The or, yeah, it's a toss up. The first one to say it out loud, but I have to finish reading out both of them. Okay, for, I have to finish reading out both of them. My question for YouTube: Look to your screens right now. Your question for you two or your question? This is for, for both of you. This Ed, is for both of you. Is this at two YouTube? At two. At two. At two YouTube. This is <laughs> Bono Lisa. This is for both of you. <laughs> Look at your screen right now. It involves this. I see a shadow of a mountain. It involves this trailer to this movie. <laughs> Huh? I am, of course, the final question. Toss up is in reference to one of the most famous pieces of art that is yes. connected to Beaver, Utah. It is, of course, yes. Trent Harris's masterpiece, the Beaver Trilogy, the Beaver yes. Trilogy. In this movie, Trent, Har Trent Harris re reenacts the actual encounter with Richard LeVon Griffiths, a.k.a. the Beaver Kid and also Groovin Gary. Trent Harris mm -hmm. meets Groovin Gary after he meets him in this clip. This is the first clip with Groove and Gary in Salt Lake City. Yeah, yeah. look at that flipping shirt, Are you shirt, typing it in or? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> when can I see this? <laughs> I'll go home <laughs> yes. and watch it and say, boy, wow. Hey, Mom, I got on the set today, you know. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Well, I'm That's the actual Groove and Gary. Of course, if you've ever yeah. seen the Breaver trilogy, there's three segments. There's this whole real clip. Then there's the time Sean Penn portrayed Groove and Gary. And then there's the time they did a kind of a full, more short film that they added at the end of it with Crispin Glover as Groove and Gary. All of this is about when Groove and Gary, this in the real footage, goes to Beaver. He invites Trent Harris to come down to film him. Trent Harris goes down and he films the actual Groove and Gary in drag performing at a stage in Beaver, Utah. He's obsessed with Olivia Newton John. And in fact, the real Groove and Gary performs this Olivia Newton John song. I give you two options. The first to say out, out loud for 0.5 to win. I'm going to say both the answers. No one can answer. You're disqualified if you say it before I read both of the answers. The first one to say it out loud. Here are your two options. What Olivia Newton John song did Groove and Gary actually perform in front of Trent Harris? Great question, Schlegel, by the way. You're very welcome. Here we go. The Olivia Newton John song. The first one to say it after I read both of them. Is it A, please don't keep me waiting, or is it B, hopelessly devoted to you? A, please don't keep me waiting. I said A first. Ryan Bradford, what is But your... I said the title. No. I did not clarify the first person to say it. And Ryan, clearly that's a weird, shitty answer because you didn't say it right. Clayton said A first. I want you both to look to your screens. I will give you the answer in momentary <laughs> I, said, I said it out loud first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want us both to be wrong, actually. <laughs> it's physical. You're both wrong. No. Yes. Clay, please don't keep me waiting. Is correct. Wait. You were supposed to say the. Ah, bullshit. I said it first. I said the title. <laughs> I'm going to count this as a win for me, even if you don't mark me as the winner. Clayton Scribner wins again. He now has a 7 to 3. 7 to 3 lead. Don't turn away. 
seven to three lead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want a technicality, Ryan. Jeremy, but, Jeremy. Know, a is a lot shorter than saying. Jeremy, I, I need you to rule on this because I never said you had to say the full title. I said first one to say it out loud, which I know is vague, but I still feel like Clayton won. Give me your ruling. Yes, I, I have been called upon in the past to uh, to give to these tie break. resolve disputes, and in this case, I am going to say that Clayton's A was Still indeed counts. a full oh my God. answer Jeremy's because a it was place. labeled A. Jerry... And from a purely strategic standpoint, at that point, Bradford should have gone for B because yeah. if Clayton was wrong, he would have still had a chance. Correct. Instead, he's he's just like leeching on. Yeah, he said he answer. said he's disqualified <laughs> at that point. <laughs> wow, wow. Ch- Chatmaster hey, Jeremy's hey, ruthless with this ruling. Hey, this Clay, when you... Basic, when basic trivia strategy ryan once you'd lost the fight you should have just gone technicality <laughs> and also I tried that before by the way jeremy i just realized you're my video review it's like whenever a referee or someone goes to that weird microphone and they're talking to someone you let's don't know to the tape let's go to the tape let's go to the tape let's go to the tape clayton scrivener seven to three seven to three we've got no, no it's fine i'm just gonna keep my own map <laughs> <laughs> and it's a map of your house and you're the winner of it uh we don't worry you'll always you'll always have mounty baldy mounty baldy uh <laughs> great job i regardless of my spelling problems clay you go first in the next episode.